So there's a word that you've probably heard before, equilibrium. Um, and equilibrium uh, says that you know, if you take two things, they're going to come to one state. They're going to settle down to one state. Um, so the example in temperature is if I have two liquids or solids or two substances uh, that are at different temperatures and I put them in contact with each other, uh, they're going to go and meet at a temperature in the middle. Um, not necessarily exactly in the middle, it depends on a few things. On the formula we saw previously, Q equals MC delta T. Um, but they will reach a temperature that's in between the two starting points. So, uh, this allows us to say that the energy uh, released or absorbed by one uh, substance will be equal to the energy lost, so the energy gained by substance one is equal to the energy lost by substance two. So then we can say, okay, well then M1 C1 delta T1 is equal to M2 C2 delta T2 negative. Because if we're losing energy, then it's a negative number. Okay? So we can apply this to solve uh, a few problems. Uh, let's start off with something that, uh, let's start off with something like this. Let's say we have, um, so I'm going to have substance 1 and substance 2. Let's say substance 1 has uh, 20 grams uh, of mass. Let's say it has a heat capacity of 0 0.5 uh, joules per grams degrees Celsius. And let's say that it starts off at a temperature T1 of 20 degrees Celsius. Substance 2 uh, will have a mass of 10 grams, M2. 10 grams, it will have a heat capacity of 0 0.2 joules per gram degree Celsius, and it will have an initial starting temperature, T2, of 100 degrees Celsius. And I want to know, if I mix these together, what's my final temperature? So, I always recommend going through this and solving algebraically first, um, and then putting in all the numbers at once, and you'll have an easier time. Um, but you don't have to. So I'm going to go through and do it uh, where you put in the numbers first, because I feel like that's what most people actually do, regardless of what I say. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. So we have mc delta t equals negative mc2 to c, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I want to plug everything in, and I want to solve for tf. So m1 is 20 grams. Uh, c1 is 0 0.5 joules per gram degree Celsius. And the change in temperature is going to be my final temperature, which I don't know minus my initial temperature, which is 20 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius. Now I have to decide, before I move on, is this going to be positive or negative? Well, this substance starts at 20, this one starts at 100, so if they're going to meet at some point in between, this one's going to heat up. So this is going to be a positive number, because it has to gain heat. Okay? For our other substance, it's going to lose heat. It's going from 100 to something lower than 100. So I'm going to say negative uh, M2 is going to be 10 grams. Uh, the heat capacity is 0 0.2 joules per gram degree Celsius, and our change in temperature is going to be, uh, and here's something we can do. We can say it's going to be Tf minus 100, but we can also just put this negative sign in to our change of temperature and say it's initial, which is 100 degrees Celsius, minus our final. Otherwise, we're going to get a negative answer anyways, and the negatives will cancel and still give us the same thing. So this is fine. So now I'm going to do some simplification here. I'm going to say 20 times 0.5. Uh, the grams cancel. I get 10 joules per degree Celsius times, uh, why don't I just distribute this? No, wait. So times Tf minus 20 degrees Celsius. And this is going to be equal to 10 grams times 0.2 is 2 uh, joules per degree Celsius. Uh, and I have 100 degrees Celsius minus Tf. So I'm going to say, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I get 5 over here, unitless, because the dimensions cancel. And then I'm going to distribute that 5. So I get 5 Tf minus 100 degrees Celsius is equal to 100 degrees Celsius uh, minus Tf. So I'll add Tf to both sides, so I get 6 Tf. And also add 100 to both sides, so I'm going to get 200 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to have Tf is equal to 200 uh, over 6 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, uh, this comes out to be 33.3 uh, degrees Celsius.